you so much for clicking on this video um so we already hit 100 subscribers and i am super super excited thank you for all 100 of you and the family just keeps growing um so today's video we are going to be i'm going to be showing you what's on my spice rack and also i need to clean that uh spice rack as well um forgive my yeah it's so annoying um but anyway we are going to be as i said we're going to be cleaning my spice rack i show you how what i put in my spice rack the kind of spices that i use um maybe so you'd like to I... see kenzie or oh. kenzie do you want to come say hi to the people yeah she does come say hi to the people come on come on so here she is come on come she says hi she's such a good girl um <laughs> okay let's get into the video okay guys so these are all my spices and i just put also my the some of the the um, the, the labels that i have made already completed already um i like this okay let me just tell you where i got this 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 little containers um they are i think they're fruit containers i got i got them from odds and ends last year they were having a sale uh so they had everything um i think almost everything not not exactly everything but this were going for 90 bob each so i snagged myself a number but i need to add more and then this I also got this from odds and ends the, the 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 container only i got this for 300 they are going it was during the sale so i got this for 300 bob each i got six but um one broke and this i got from carrefour i don't remember how much they were going for but odds and ends also have a similar container um, it's quite at first you might have a challenge opening it but what you do is this uh, this clip over here you pull it up and then it this becomes loose so you just pull it back you open your container it houses my oof, amazing houses ground coffee and then when closing then you just take the the first the, this one you came okay, no you lift it up put it back and then gently pull this other clip down like that and it's airtight i find that this are really these kinds of containers they they also have careful not careful odds and ends also have like the the one liter i think 1.5 1.5 ml um they have them they're really really good with storing your your grains um you you know like grains they're really good with grains also with coffee because you don't want to just like lose everything though even this ones are good but it's not as airtight as this other one is so for this one i just put my unga ugali my sugar my oatmeal my muesli and all that good stuff i find that they they really really help you so what we are going to be doing today um we're going to be cleaning all of them because they are quite um they have stuff on them you know like normally when you're cooking and then you open and you know like what you do so that's how they look um but yeah let's just get to cleaning them but i really really love especially these small ones i love them so much i just need to add on some more i have um a spice rack that i i it was custom made i don't know if you let me just so this spice rack that i want to show you it was custom made for me and i am um, it's amazing i love it so that's how it looks uh and it's perfect uh the fundi took measurements of the containers and so that like they fit so let me just show you how it fits so you see it fits and it still has like space up here for just when you need um, to like lift it and get it off 
to lift it and get it off the, the container the, the the rack plus um it has this you see it's not like it's flat so there's um it's like a stopper no, let like, me just call it a stopper so, so in my spice rack i i have this is beef masala this you use this in stews and i'm just going to tell people what i use them for just in case they are wondering i use this in my in my beef and my giveri i normally use this and also my lentils basically my lentils i'll put some beef masala the second spice that i have i have garam masala garam masala i don't really love garam masala like it's a mix of it's a mix of almost everything and it smells like tea masala almost so this i also put in my mostly i put this in my dengue this is this does not have a label because i just recently got it this is a uh, mango powder mango powder where do i put it there are things called there are some indian there's some indian um, they look like balls uh like they're like covered in balls they um what are they called uh, it's it's a vegetarian um is it kachiri i'm not uh, I've forgotten when I remember I'm going to tell you guys what it is then I have my coconut powder this I put in almost everything um, I put it in rice you could always put coconut in rice you could put it in um, your fish you could put it in basically coconut almost goes with everything as for me like i love coconut so i normally get let me show you the kind that i get i get the um, uh, i get this this kind this is the royal umbrella coconut cream so i think they go for maybe maybe 99 bob do they go for 99 or 50 bob I think 99 this is 50 grams i think they go for 99 bob so we will need to refill this and we just go through the spices fast and then we can start refilling this is empty but it houses my it holds can they stop playing stop um it holds my garlic the reason why it's empty is because though i have garlic with so I have garlic with me. I I don't I don't want to put garlic in here because when opening it gets tacky and I don't know why every time I try. Maybe it's some agent in garlic or I don't know why, but it it sticks. And then here I have my these are my chili flakes. I'm such a lover of chili flakes, and I labeled the the bottom part as well. So just just a tip if you don't have if you don't have this this if you cannot get your hands on this stickers you could always just use uh, from textbook center can you stop it normal stickers you could get them from from textbook center and then just label label the, the, the um, your container for a neat work don't don't label on the where you can see them like that's just my preference don't label this label at the bottom until you get yourself like a cute ass sticker so chili flakes and then, and then i have, have turmeric for turmeric i it has various uses i normally add some bit on into my my facial mask it helps brighten your skin and then i put the rest maybe in my egg sauces i put it in my my lentils as well i sometimes put it in my meat but not mostly in my meat don't put a lot I just work a kidogo don't put a lot and then this is this i believe this it, it doesn't have a sticker at the bottom so we are going to perform the old sniff test oh that was tight oh well this is cinnamon um 
I recently got it because I will be adding cinnamon to you see what I was tell, telling you guys about I'll be adding cinnamon to my my oatmeal and why did I get cinnamon really I oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to make Danish and also I wanted to I think it's just Danish yeah I wanted to make myself some Danish pastries so that's why I got cinnamon but I'm not a fan of cinnamon I have my friend um, she sells cinnamon in large quantities so if any of you need cinnamon I will get you good cinnamon there they are from Mauritius so um, I can always just ask her to to do it for you then here we have curry powder this is like <laughs> like a staple spice in this house so you see how i wish you'd see how gunky it is like the surface is so because like we use it a lot of times so that's why i need to clean the the jars up then here i have some bay leaves i love bay leaves i put bay leaves oh this no, did I tell you what you can use this for? Curry powder, you know where you can put curry powder. You put it in lentils, you put in meat, you put in whatever you want to put. But this cinnamon, cinnamon, don't put cinnamon in everything. Uh, it's not going to taste nice. Don't put, unless you love cinnamon. If you're a starter, spice starter, then these are your staples. Bay leaves, you put bay leaves in your meat, meat sauces, but before you serve it, remember to remove the leaves because they're basically just leaves they're basically dried leaves so oh, you can't see but they are they are dried leaves so don't remember to take them out otherwise you, you're not going to feel nice when you get something crunchy and dry and yeah you're going to feel like you're eating an insect so i have bay leaves for my sauces and also i normally when i'm boiling rice i drop a leaf or two in my boiling water An amazing taste here we have the good old tea masala so tea masala is basically self-explanatory you use this in your tea immediately like your your tea starts bubbling you just dump in this and then i have some cardamom cardamom this i put in my i also put a pinch of this in my tea because like it's such a sweet it's it's like a it's sweet like a leaky 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 like mitamu as in it just smells amazing and then i also put it in my mandazi i put it in my Oh, it smells amazing oh, I put it in my mandazis I put it in my pancakes when I make pancakes so yeah then from ShopRite I'd gotten this spicy barbecue I got a, a number I got this spicy barbecue I got chicken I got um, pork but um, I haven't used it and this is already expired so I need to throw this out expiry date is at the back so before you use anything just remember to always check the back this could be dangerous for you so you don't want to have this so you're just going to throw this away and then since i don't have enough containers <laughs> carful comes through and recycling is the best this is the small peanut butter jar from carful um you like they are not like um, they are not on the shelf they are ready made like no you go to the counter not the counter where they make this you tell them that you want a fresh batch of um, peanut butter they will make for you this has coriander powder in it coriander powder is basically powder ya dania so um, if I don't have any fresh dania I normally just sprinkle this in my stuff Dania appear like me self-explanatory in a draw tatumia wapi dania but since this is a powder I normally cook it not not necessarily just put it at the end of your like when your meal is already done no you need to cook all your spices please 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 cook your spices well don't have them raw it's not advisable then I have this um this two small other containers that uh, when you get sauces from restaurants and stuff 
I love recycling my plastics so I just have some curry leaves but um, I dried some curry leaves and put them in here though I have they were green when I got them so this ones maybe I need to no but they're okay actually I'm not going to throw them away I'm going to use them then I also have another one over here this I want to say this i don't know what this is i think this is oregano i'm not really sure because when i got it i put it in here and then i threw the container away but i want to say oregano oregano is also good in your meat sauces it tastes amazing or you could always just rub on top oil um for your roasted potatoes anything roast even chicken roast you can always just uh, rub this on onto your onto whatever it is you're cooking i want to i really really want to say oregano but i'm not sure so don't don't quote me on it please guys then another amazing thing these are black sesame seeds the simsim are black this is how they look they they are tasteless like basically they don't have any salt they're just black sesame seeds I love oh where I use this um when I have my breakfast my my breakfast cereal is the nut and raisin mini bits if you haven't watched my pantry organization um so when I have this I normally um okay I'll put the the nut and raisin mini bits in a bowl and then I will add my milk and then I will sprinkle this on top after sprinkling that I will also add this um, pumpkin seeds this also they are not salted they are just I think they are raw oh, yeah. they are also not salted they are I think it's raw I don't know but I normally just have them as they are so I got this from Carrefour they are readily available at Carrefour this little container um, that I put my my beef bouillon my Rico cubes I have the red and the green one So this is how the spice rack looks like. for joining me today and see you on the next video 
Cheerio, my diamonds.